And what's up guys and girls, JP Jessipo here from MMO-Play.com. Today we're going to be taking a look at the game Dragons and Titans. It is in, developed by Wormbite. It's actually in collaboration with Zynga, which Zynga is a big Facebook game developer. And uh, it's an MOBA style free MMO, very similar to that of, you know, Dota and, um, you know, League of Legends, for instance. Let's go into this on full screen. Titan from the enemy Titan Alright, so the goal is, you know, to free the... Titan. You will choose a dragon to ride and a legendary weapon to wield for every battle. For this battle, we have given you a Hellfire dragon, dragon to ride and the crossbow Skyburst to wield. Sounds like you will start the match game. at your fortress, deep behind our defenses. We Ooh. must not let the enemy penetrate these defenses, destroy so like our NPCs, Titan King, very and free to the their Titan. Franchise. If you fall in battle, you will respawn here, behind oh, the, the Titan, Titan Cage. cage. Good I luck, love the Dragon gold Lord. where you spawn. Let's review the basics of okay, dragon so riding. While you hold forward. down either shift or the right mouse button, your dragon will move controls. to your cursor. You so, can also hold down the space bar to move your I'm dragon backwards, good. away from your cursor. Fly your so dragon cool. into the circle to continue. That's cool. Alrighty. Where are we going here? Wait, I gotta go up here, Titan Cage, so I can fly, because I'm a dragon. So it's, what's this thing? Good work. To use your basic attack, oh. press the left mouse button. There we go. This attack can also be used you by can pressing even right the click Q key. If you want to move Minions forward. are the forces that fight for either side. Oh, yeah, they are not. our soldiers. Destroy enemy minions to protect our Titan <laughs> Congratulations! You have leveled up and earned a point you can spend to upgrade an ability. Oh. Spend your point upgrading cool. your Skyver skill, Spreadshot. Cool. Well done. Now we will spawn more minions. Use your new Skyver skill, Spreadshot, to defeat them. Right. Ready? I'm ready. To cast Spreadshot, use your E key. Remember to aim at your desired target bitch. while casting. Oh, it does a lot of damage, though. This is cool. Congratulations! It's very smooth, you I have leveled I mean. up again. Okay, so Spend the now. points you gain during battle to unlock and improve your skills. Wait, you will pick up gold automatically as you fly over coins. Collecting Increased gold health. can greatly speed so up your leveling. Pass of, Collect guess, the gold the dropped by those minions. Oh, so this is the gold. Those minions have caused you some damage, but you can heal using one of your spells. Press the D key to cast your heal. To redeem your gold, you must cool. carry it back to a friendly gold horde. In your case, you currently have the spell Recall in your loadout. Cast recall is very similar. In League of Legends, they have the exact same skill, which is, you know, Recall. Um, and then the cooldown. Cooldown is 180 seconds. the healing and mana, revitalizing so power of a friendly horde. Any gold you have collected will be turned into experience points, speeding up your leveling efforts. Oh, that's interesting. An obelisk is under attack by our enemies. We can't let them that's destroy cool. it. Obelisks power the shield that protects our Titan Cage from attack. If it falls, our Titan Cage will be vulnerable. Follow the arrows and take those enemies down. I gotcha, I gotcha. The enemy has destroyed the elemental tower and lowered the shields on the obelisk. Hurry! We it, must not let them destroy our obelisk. So the obelisk, um, this adds for a lot of strategic gameplay. Um, you know, now that our territory is safe, and, it's you know, time to take the fight to the enemy. Control, Destroy the enemy's obelisk, um, starting with Dota, its this elemental is, tower. This is, you know, exactly what it is. And, uh, Except for the graphics in this, you know, are very nice. I like the whole dragon type. You must concept. destroy the elemental towers attached to the obelisk before it can be destroyed. Just as the obelisk powers the shield that. around their titan destroy. cage, the elemental top destroying enemy obelisks will significantly weaken the shield surrounding the enemy's titan cage. Oh yeah, it is ever. Oh, you make this Literally. look easy, <laughs> Dragon Lord. Let's move on to destroying the enemy shrine. Sweetness. Follow green arrows. Oh no! Oh. That's a Dragon Lord. Except this one fights for the other side. Okay, so Dragon Lord, I, now that the enemy Dragon Rider has fallen, we only have a few moments before he Level returns to the field already. of battle. What, we need to destroy so the enemy so. shrine before he returns. Oh, whoops. I gotta go over here. As with the obelisks, you right must destroy on. the elemental towers first before the oh, shrine this, itself this can be attacked. Alright, leveled up. When you level up, I think you get more health again. This is actually a really interesting game. 
I can honestly see myself, you know, playing this, you know, I decided, you know, destroy the enemy so shrine to increase the rate really of decay important. of the enemy shield. Right. You can check on the status of here. each team's shrines and Heal obelisks and using the score panel. You see the here red done thing? It. That is Victory the is cool all down. but in our grasp now, Dragon right. Lord. All we have, have to do is destroy the enemy Titan cage and cool free our Titan. Okay, let's just free our Titan. I'm sure that's simplistic. Now, Dragon Lord, right. destroy the enemy's Titan cage to there free our Titan allies. and win here. the battle. Oh, this is insane. It's chaotic. Oh, I got to destroy these. Oh, there are guys. They're so <laughs> What level am I? I'm level 8 now? You see the XP is down here in the bottom. It's just cranking up. Alright, there we go. Dragon Lord. Our Titan Bam. is free to rule for the next century on this plane. But there are many planes got a and many battles ahead. Surely we will need your skill. Alright guys, so that was the tutorial. Now we're actually into it. I ran into an issue now. I'm not sure if it was because I was recording with fraps or if they need to work on something, but when I left the tutorial, which was in full screen mode, um, you have the option of, you know, which is really nice, the full screen and the windowed mode, um, but as soon as I left the full screen mode, it crashed on me, so we had to redo the tutorial again, which is really frustrating. Now once again, that could be because I'm recording. Now you can see here, we got, literally, we have my picture, this is my Facebook, you know, my Facebook account, so we have my picture, we have my rank, I'm ranked number one in the world. No, I actually have no idea, but we have different things to look at here. Um, so we finished the training, we're getting a currency known as crystals. Alright, advanced training, master of the battleground, we have single player, we have multiplayer. So these are the different things we're going to be looking at, um, you know, which is really important. Um, to have both concepts, you know, AI and, you know, we can play against other people. But let's look at all these different things. So we go to the shop. Welcome to the shop, Dragon Lord. Alright, so we got, you know, we can buy new dragons. Um, and these are the crystals, but there's also this currency as well, um, known as Dragon Box. Which, you know, quite, you know, but let's, let's put bucks and dragons together and call it Dragon Box. <laughs> but, um, you know, you can buy that through you know, the developers, Zynga, or uh, Wormbite, you know, they, they work together, collaborated together for this game, so obviously they're going to make money through that, so you know, we could buy these different dragons, you know, buy different weapons, skills, let's look at these skills here, popular, Midnight Hellfire, um, you know, right now this this game, it's, you know, just being released, it's, it's very hard to get into it right now, so there's going to be a lot of upgrading and Tons of things done in the future for this game. We got war marks, um, you know, all kinds of different things. Here, let's go to Dragon Box really quick. And you see, for you know, 650 Dragon Bucks, you're gonna spend a hundred dollars, or you know, you get 10 Dragon Bucks for two dollars. Now, it's up to you. Um, I personally know. Uh, what's this here? Featured. So there will be featured things. So we got this really cool dragon. I think the dragon design itself is really interesting. Then there are runes. Now this is very similar to, you know, a lot of the other games, um, such as League of Legends, for instance, with runes, it's actually the exact same term used on League of Legends, which is, you know, kind of interesting. I figured they'd at least change that. Um, the runes, they're not massive, but when you start stacking runes, um, you know, you can get some pretty interesting things. So we got an empty rune socket. I can throw something in there that I want. For, for instance, I'm going to go health. You know, I can throw that in there. Let's look at the Lord himself. Um, you know, apparently I'm the Lord. Um, we can edit all kinds of stuff in terms of our profile. Um, I want to go down and look at the Forge. Okay, so the Forge, there's nothing yet. You can see coming soon. Um, you know, like I said, the game isn't fully fully set up. What's, what's the alien here? Coming soon as well. Um, it looks like dice, so there's a little bit of gambling in regards to that. Um, stats coming soon as well. So, you know, they have a lot of stuff to work on. Um, let's see if the multiplayer works. That is what I'm really curious about. Um, see if PvP and co-op. So, literally, this game has every single thing um, you know, that I look for in a game. You know, it has the single player and it has the PvP combat. So, you know, not only am I going to be able to fight other people, if I really want to, you know, we could do co op. So, that's what, that's, for instance, that's one thing I like about StarCraft 2 is that, you know, you can co op against AI and this is the exact same thing. Um, I'm going to try PvP, see if there's anybody on. Now, I don't know if I'll be able to get into any. Um, it says waiting for two players, you know, here's the average. We're going to wait a minute. So, um, two more players for a total of eight. So, you know, we already found six players. So it's pretty awesome. You can see all these people talking in here. 
it's going to be massive. But right now, you know, you kind of have to you have to request access. So you know, we have a lot of beta testers and stuff in right now. Um, but you know, this game will eventually, most likely, blow up because you know, Dota is a massive game genre right now. League of Legends and Dota 2, those are the biggest franchises, you know, right now for Twitch TV, for instance. So this game could be very big, especially you know, if it's a Facebook browser-based game. I mean, you already saw the combat. You know, there's going to be some strategic elements in regards to you know the different towers. You know using the um, reverse your NPCs to support you searching for similarly ranked players which is very important I don't know how the software works in regards to you know finding um, equal equal uh, e equally talented players if you will um, but I'm really interested in seeing how bad I do alright guys and girls so I managed to you know wait several minutes and um, you know because this is you know very hard to get into right now a lot of people trying to get in uh, and you kinda need to you know be a reviewer of sorts because they don't want to just release this right away to everybody so you know I couldn't get anybody um, but we're gonna go ahead and try the single player um, you already saw some gameplay but I want to show you guys a bit more we got the Hellfire okay these are all um, you know, interesting. So we look at the dragons, there's different statistics. Um, there's a difficulty statistic which is really interesting. Um, meaning it's very difficult to use. You know, the support guy here, very difficult to use. This guy is pure attack? No. I'm gonna go with Nightmare because he's pure attack basically. Um, we got different spells there. Okay, let's get into this. Um, pick, pick our spells. Recall. It's very similar, room page one. Available weapons. Offense, you know, these are just very supportive. What's what is highly attack? Okay, so I'm going pure damage on this. Let's get into this right away here. Hit the ready button. We got the ticker. We got the ticker. You can see this is a 5v5. You know, there's going to be different maps, different dragon types, different weapons coming out. You know, there's going to be a lot of customization and it crap. All right, guys and girls, so we have logged in. And I accidentally just clicked that off of it. Let's get moving. Look at this thing. It is absolutely amazing. Um, elemental lightning. Okay, so I'm playing, you know, with AI right now. This is absolutely amazing, you know, in regards to training. If you want, you can look at the map. This is completely different than the tutorial. Um, so, you know, there's going to be a lot of creativity in regards to maps. We got this. I don't know if I like this text thing popping up. I mean, it's kind of cool, I guess. Training. I don't know if it'll keep showing up each and every time, but what? How do I know who's good, who's bad? That's what I want to know. Oh man. Oh yeah, I forgot I'm a little light, so there's a lot of strategy. This guy's got more range, so it's a completely different weapon. Alright. That guy, that NPC is on my team. Oh, whoa, we got enemy dragons. Level three already, so and we got a level four right here. So I don't know how he's getting this. Um, I think they're farming, you know, NPCs right now. Okay, we got this. I'm just gonna max P here. Come on. See if I kill this guy. Oh, he's dead. He's dead. I'm level two now. We're really pushing. Um, I don't know if there's any difficulties. I, I never saw a difficulty option. I'm sure it will be available, but. Uh, this do. I don't know what this does. I think that is pass or definitely pass. Oh, I gotta get out of here. Whew. Really keeping the pressure on him. Really keeping the pressure on him. The backspace is actually a great feature, you know, you can back up and attack. Which is what they suggested in the tutorial itself. Oh, look at the pressure. Oh, no. My life is low right now. Okay, I leveled up. Alright. I'm just trying to level up my, ma my main weapon. The graphics itself, I must say, absolutely beautiful. Uh, really well done. The dragons, the animations. This is going to be a big game, I think. I really do believe that you know, it's going to be a big game. Um, there, there's obviously a lot that has to come out still. Um, a lot of features and whatnot. Okay, let's see if I can solo this guy. Alright, let's see if I can back up. See, when you back up, they can't hit you. So, you know, you can implement that. Um, I got a ton of range with those guys, so I can just play around, go back and forth, and eventually kill them like that. 
and see how I use the tower as an advantage. Um, they will drop, you know, little health potions, vials like that for HP. Um, you guys may notice this is a long video, but this is going to be, you know, most likely a really big game, so I really want to spend the extra time um, showing you guys the gameplay. You can look up here, you know, we got these uh, points here. You can kind of see the morale and whatnot. My score, you can see the my allies, you know, we got one level seven, the gold dude is level seven. Yeah, nightmare Juice health. This is, you know, overall passive. I'm going a lot of the passive with one skill. They're probably good to it. This is risky. I'm running right through, right into their defenses, but I'm really going to go for the kill because if I get the kill, and can I do it? I totally got it. Oh, he's at the health thing. He's getting health. Now i got to retreat out of here because he's just simply getting health. So if you move back, just like all the Dota games, you will get life if you move back to your main base or where you spawn. Um, all right, this guy's close as well. I think we're going to win this, to be quite honest. We're really pumping through them. Oh, I gotta get out of here. I need some health bottles here. These are my guys, I think, those bats. Yeah, I need more range, that's what I need. Oh, I do a little bit of damage to this guy, but you know, not as much as I would like to. It's, it's, it's these ice dragons that are really frustrating. Oh, I think I got him. I think I got him. Can I kill him? Oh, can I kill him? Oh no! That is ridiculous. He got away. That, that, this is actually you know, quite interesting. Our Opalus is under attack, so I'm going to retreat back there. If I want, remember, I can use you know the heal or the recall. Um, those are just runes. You can eventually swap them out as you level up. As you level up, you unlock all kinds of new runes, and that's kind of you know some motivation for people. Anyhow, this is the game Dragons and Titans, a new Facebook game by Zynga and, um, you know, the uh, Worm Bite company. Um, you know, there's a lot to, uh, a lot of, you know, things going to be said about this game. Um, I personally really do enjoy it. This, I don't get how this level 10, this little dra <laughs> dragon is level 10 already, but he's kind of, you know, the solo, the solo dragon. There we go. Absolute domination. So anyhow, you will unlock new dragons, new gear, new runes, new heroes, you name it. Lots of things coming out for this game. This is Dragons and Titans, JB Disappower here from MMO-Play.com. Go to MMO-Play.com to check out more. See you guys in the next one.